okay this is the easy problem so let us discuss so this problem is related to writing mechanism so I have this compound this is basically an epoxide and there I have a double bond now if I treat this compound with H plus in the presence of H2O it forms five member ring so you have five member ring here and then here I have, I have CH2OH and in this position I have CH3 and I have OH so let us write the mechanism for this reaction so let us write the mechanism for this reaction I will give you some time so how will you proceed you first see what are the changes that is taking place that is the one hint you have you see here now this O is not has become CH2OH and I have H plus so what H plus can do H plus can act as a acid catalysis this lone pair basically can attack on H plus and if attacks then I can open this ring and then I can attack the double bond and this is enough hint you can proceed Okay, I think some of you must have done this one. So let us try to do. So we have this compound. I am writing again. And here I have oxygen. What this H plus will do, this H plus will basically attack on this oxygen. And at this time we will have OH plus. So I am going slow. So let us say OH. Now this oxygen will have a positive charge, formally positive charge. Here you have a double bond, here you have a methyl group. Now in the next step, what I can do is I can lose this one. I will get a carbocation. If you want, you can even attack on this case also because this secondary carbocation will be not so stable. So at the same time, or if you want, you can make this a space. So let me do it in the a step so that you can understand easily. You have a positive charge. Now you have CH2OH. So this CH2OH you will have. This bond I have broken so there will be a positive charge. Now there is a double bond. And what the next step will have. So this double bond can attack here. So if it attacks here. So you will have something like this. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4. So you will have a 5 member ring. So let us first make a 5 member ring. And let us number. So this is, I am calling this the 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. Now you see at position number 2, you will have a CH3 group. So you see this is your CH3, that will have position number 2, and there will be a plus charge in position number 2. Because you see this, this bond attacks here, so there will be a plus charge in position number 2. And at position number 5, we will have CH2OH group attached. So position number 5, you will be having CH2OH group attached are you getting same molecule I can write in another way also so let me write this molecule again so I will have this so let us say this is I can number something like this also so let us number in this way 1 2 3 4 5 and position number 5 I have CH2OH and position number 2 I have a positive charge in the next step and position number 2 also I have a methyl group. Now in the next step H2O molecule can attack. So this lone pairs attacks and the same time I can lose H plus. So if I do this I will have a 5 member ring. And then in position number 5 we will have CH2OH group. So let us say this CH2OH 
and here you have a CS3 and here this place you will have OH. So this is the same compound that you have to form. You see this compound is initially the same compound. So let us call this carbon is a 1 carbon number or call this a 1. This is 2, this is 3. So you have carbon number 1 that is this one. This is 2, this is 3. At carbon number 1 you have CS3 group and OH group. So here also carbon number 1 contains CS3 OH group. Carbon number 3 contains CH2 OH group. So carbon number 3 contains CH2 OH group. So this is the same same product are you getting so let us copy this one first then I can go for the next problem this is an easy problem all if you can understand this one there is nothing new in this course Okay, let us discuss the next problem.